Wheels of Hope is a volunteer driving program that provides patients with cancer a ride to and from their cancer treatment appointments. But as the Canadian Cancer Society sees less volunteers step up to help, they're forced to reduce services or deny people rides to their life-saving appointments. If people can't find a ride to get to the cross, they, they simply don't go. And that just absolutely breaks my heart that the only reason that they're not coming to get their life-saving treatment is because they can't find a ride to get here. Fred Kraft has been volunteering as a driver for 14 years and says he does it because cancer has affected many people in his life. I'm not a surgeon, I'm not an oncologist, but I'd like to do something that would help. And uh, this is one of the ways that uh, I can give back to the people that are suffering from this horrible disease. They aren't the only ones in need of a helping hand. Nonprofits across the country are having a difficult time finding volunteers since the onset of the pandemic. Nationally, 67% of nonprofits report a shortage of new volunteers, and 42% of organizations say volunteers aren't able to commit long term. The Edmonton Chamber of Voluntary Organizations says at a time where people are making New Year's resolutions, volunteering can fulfill some of those goals. You can learn new skills, you can update your resume. You can, it really helps with your mental health, makes you feel good about yourself. So volunteering is like a win-win. Meanwhile, for Kraft, he says he's going to continue helping those who need it most. Personally, this is one of the best things I've did in my entire lifetime. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.